If you've been thinking about setting up product subscriptions on your Shopify store, but you're not sure where to start, then this video is for you. I'm gonna show you how to enable subscriptions on your Shopify store. I'm gonna show you how to set up the product subscription, how to create product contracts, how to update your theme, and how to enable ongoing purchases from your customers on autopilot. It's gonna be a step-by-step -step guide inside of a Shopify store from start to finish. So by the end of this video, you should be able to take what you've learned and implement it in your Shopify store and start selling subscriptions straight away. So grab a pen and paper and let's go. Now, if you're not sure what subscriptions are, have a look in my store here. Now I sell a coffee product and if you're anything like me, I need coffee on demand. And if I was to run out of coffee in my office or at home, I'd get pretty stressed out. So this is where subscriptions are perfect. They're designed for products that are typically consumable. Think coffee, razors, dog food, shaving cream, things that you use regularly. And what they do is they make it convenient for the customer. So someone can buy their first purchase from you and they say, hey, I'm more than happy to have this every two, three, four weeks. So have a look at what we've got here. If we look at my product, we can either buy one bottle as a one-time purchase purchase, okay? But this is where subscriptions come in. I could say that I wanna get this product delivered regularly. So this one is gonna deliver every four weeks and by choosing subscription, it gives me 10% off. And I can either do that on two bottles or four bottles, which means I don't need to come back to the store every month and remember to place my order. It does the memory for me. And the benefit for this on an e-commerce business is that it means that you get repeat purchases and you don't need to pay for ads. You don't need people to come back to your store. The order is automatically generated every single month, week, day, whatever it is that you're doing. And the order is placed on behalf of the customer. It charges their credit card and it just comes in as a Shopify order for you. It is like money on autopilot and it is the secret to the success of a lot of e-commerce businesses. If you can create a product that is consumable, that is auto-ordered, then it means that money is just going to come in without you having to do any work. So let's go in and show you how I've set this up. So on my store, I'm using an app called Shopify Subscriptions and this is a free one that Shopify provide. In order to install this, head to your apps and type in subscriptions. I'm gonna click the one here that says Shopify subscriptions and we're gonna click install. Now this subscription app is the one that is provided by Shopify for free. Now I will warn you, it is a pretty basic app and it is really only for beginners. If you've got a really sophisticated subscription business with really complex subscription needs, and this is probably not gonna be the app for you, but if you're just starting out on subscriptions and wanna give it a try, because it's free, because it's by Shopify, you know, it works really, really well. But if you want anything a little bit extra, then you're gonna to have to use a paid app. Uh, if you want me to do a video on paid apps, just comment down below and I can go through and do a review of paid subscription apps. But let's do this one for now. So we're gonna go through the setup together. We're gonna to create our first subscription plan. So we're gonna click create plan. We can call it weekly subscription. Okay, internal description can be... So this internal description is only used by uh, admins that log in, okay? So uh, members aren't gonna see this. All right, now we're gonna choose the products that we wanna put on subscription. So you can choose any product in your store. Now this is just a demo store with sample data. So uh, it could be snowboards or anything like that, but I actually added this one here, which is some alpaca milk. This is not a real product, but if it was, it'd be quite funny, right? Uh, so we're gonna put alpaca milk 500 mil, and we're gonna have this as a subscription product. So we click select, and then we're gonna choose uh, the type of uh, subscription that we wanna put in play. So we can offer a discount on subscription, and you don't need to offer a discount, but to incentivize someone to buy regularly, we like putting a discount on. Uh, so we can have a percentage off, or we can have an amount off, or we can have a fixed price. Uh, so I might do an amount off, and we might say, if you get it every one week, I'm gonna give you $5 off the product, okay? And then we can add another frequency. We could do something like every two weeks, you get $6 off. And we can do another option. We'll say every three weeks, you get $7 off and et cetera, et cetera. Now, you don't have to do weeks. You can do months, you can do years, right? So it really depends on how regularly someone is gonna buy your product. Now with milk, they're probably gonna buy it every week, so it doesn't go off. So that's why we've done uh, every weeks here. All right, let's click save to that. And that's now created uh, a weekly subscription. So we could do the same thing. We can create another description, you know, create another plan by going in here. We could maybe make this a monthly description. So have a play around with what could be useful for you. All right, so I'll back out of this one. All right, so that's the first part. Uh, the second part now is just making sure that we have our settings set up. And this is where we uh, set different things like, you know, payment frequencies and everything like this. Now, there are some default settings in here. So you just want to double check whether these suit for you. So the first part is, is understanding the uh, payment method failure. So let's just say we go to charge someone's credit card and it fails. What are we going to do? So it says we're going to have three retry attempts. Now, I like to bump this up a little bit. I like to make it five, you know, just give people a little bit of time to actually put money on their card, give them time to get paid, et cetera, et cetera. Now, 
Now, this is the part I would like you to change. So it only changes every seven days. Now, we had this set up on our store once and uh, people weren't getting their products because you know it tried every seven days and their card just banging out. So we actually like to make it every sort of two days or actually, you know what, I'm gonna make it every one day. So that it tries one day, it fails, it's gonna try the next day, the next day for five days. And if that fails, then clearly the contract is not gonna go ahead. So that's what we decide on what we want to have happen. Action when all retry attempts have failed, cancel subscription and send notification. Or we could bring this down, we could pause, or we could skip, okay? So skip means it'll move to the next, uh, the next contract. Pause means that it pauses it and then you'll need to unpause it and cancel is this one. Now I prefer to put it on pause because this is a really basic app. If you put it on cancel, it cancels it all together and the customer then needs to go in and recreate a new subscription, which is a bit of friction that we don't want. So make this one pause. Now we can also go in here and edit the notifications on this. So if you pop into here, actually I'll just save that. If we pop into here and click in edit notifications, it now takes you to the customer notifications area of Shopify. So these are all the notifications that are across all orders in your Shopify store. So your order confirmation, drafts, etc., etc. The ones that apply to subscriptions would be this order confirmation. So they would get that when someone places an order. The other one that would be really useful would be something like the payment error. So editing that, if their payment has uh, they have failed, we can notify them that you know we're gonna be recharging it again in sort of a day's time. And you can sort of go through and edit these really as, uh, as you need. All right, so let's go back to the uh, subscription section, okay? Uh, so this one is not enough inventory. So sometimes your store might run out of inventory and a, uh, a subscription is trying to take that inventory. So we can set this up here, same sort of thing, number of retry attempts, number of days in between, and then we can just basically go through and set these up. So I'd do the same thing and I'd have pause on this just so that it doesn't cancel a subscription for you. And then this is where the notification comes in if there's a failure. So we can either um, do every time a billing fails, we notify the staff, you know, we can do it in a weekly summary or a monthly summary. Now it depends on how many subscriptions you have. You know, if you've got thousands of subscriptions, you're probably not gonna do it every time it fails. But if you've only got a few, you would. Um, or you would go weekly or monthly, completely up to you. Now, the next part is a subscription widget. Now, if we go back to my store, what we can see here is we've got this sort of customized widget section here. Now, we've had a developer come in and um, edit that for us, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like sort of out of the box. Uh, but this is effectively the widget here. It either is one-time purchase or it is this sort of subscription option. And you can see this says subscribe and save. That's because that's what we called that contract. Okay, so we'll go through and we're gonna reinstall the widget. Let's click there. That's gonna take you into the theme customizer and then show you where the widget's gonna go installed. Now this isn't the product we wanna look at, so I'm gonna click change and I'm gonna to go to the alpaca milk. And what we can see here is we now have this widget installed. So over on the left hand side, we can see subscription widget. And then actually on the page, we can see the two options there. So we've got your one-time purchase and then you've got the weekly subscription. And this shows you the different options that you have here. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So I'm actually gonna move that up above the button. Okay, so I'm gonna put it sort of there. So people can then choose which one they want. And as you can see on this theme, it actually has two places where it shows this subscription. Now I'm using the Dawn theme, which is built in by Shopify. So it looks like they actually have this little uh, this little subscription widget already built in, which means we don't need to add this widget in. Now, if your theme doesn't have this built in, you will need to use this widget. So in order to sort of turn it off and on, uh, we can just turn this one off here, or we can completely delete that widget there because we've already got this one in here. All right, so that looks pretty good. So we're gonna click save. And let's go back to the subscription app and just make sure we've got everything else sorted. We we'll Just click exit here and we'll click apps. We'll go to subscriptions again. We'll just go back to settings. Okay, got the widget installed. All right, so this part here is a subscription management URL. So sometimes your customers wanna go in and edit their subscription. They may wanna cancel it, pause it, change it, do whatever they want. That's where this link is really good. So we'd click copy here and you can use this link anywhere. So if someone wants to manage their subscription, you could just send it to them. You could add it as a link to the footer on your store. You can sort of put it anywhere that you want. And when they click it, it's gonna look a little bit like this. They'll get to a screen here. It'll probably have your logo and your colors in here, but they're just gonna put their email address in. It's gonna detect that they have a subscription, they're gonna be able to go in and manage it. And as an example, this is how it would look on my store. All right, let's go back and just make sure everything else is sorted. And then the last part is subscription notifications, which we have already looked into. So that's pretty much the basic setup that you have of subscriptions. Now I did say this is a very basic app. So what's gonna happen now is when someone visits that product page, this is what they're gonna see. We can see we've got a one-time purchase, which means they can buy this bottle of milk for 99 bucks, 
or they can actually choose another option here and it can have all the different versions of them. Now, this one is discounted, so you can see it saves $5. Now it's done that calculation automatically, so you just might wanna play around with that to make sure it's the right calculation, um, but we can see that lays that in there. So when someone now adds this to cart, it means they're now gonna get the uh, this alpaca milk and it's gonna be delivered every week and you're gonna get $5 off. So we go through to checkout and it's gonna place that order for them. So what that's gonna do is put an order directly here into your Shopify store and it's gonna tag it as subscription. And that engages something called a contract. So once we go to the Shopify app again, what you're going to see here is a list of contracts. Now we don't have any contracts in here at the moment, but when someone does place an order, it's gonna go in here. And that's where you can manage their order. Now I'll take you into my store and show you sort of how that looks. So we can see here that someone has bought premium coffee concentrate. Uh, they've had the one-time purchase of $29.95. They're getting it every month with 10% off. So this is sort of what it looks like. And we can see they've got all these upcoming orders that are automatically gonna happen on the 12th of every month. Now we've got a few options we can do here. We can either pause a subscription. So let's just say the customer wants to pause or we can cancel. That's pretty much all we can do with the exception of changing sort of delivery dress. But outside of that, we can't change the duration. We can't change the frequency. We can't change the price. We can't change anything that you can do sort of in more sophisticated apps. But the idea here is that you just get the subscription in place, they set up a frequency and you just get orders on autopilot. So that's pretty much how you set up Shopify subscriptions for free, really basically for beginners. Now subscriptions are great, but if you did want help growing your Shopify store outside of subscriptions, or you just want some help setting up subscriptions, I do run a program called the E-Commerce Academy, where I work with you to help you grow your Shopify store, whether it be subscriptions, email marketing, right? running ads, SEO, site updates, you name it, we do everything in there. And our goal is to grow as many e-commerce stores as possible and we'd love you to be part of it. I've put a link to the Academy down below if you wanna join. But if you just wanna binge on my free content and learn more about how to run your Shopify store, YouTube has a couple of videos here that it thinks is gonna be absolutely perfect for where you are now.